There have been many versions of the legend of the vengeful scarecrow, whispered around campfires and passed down through hushed conversations in small towns. Some say it was conjured by a bitter farmer, others claim it was born from darker, more ancient forces, but every version agrees on one chilling detail. Each Halloween, the scarecrow awakens to terrorize the town, and no one has ever stopped it. This version of the legend, however, is different, crafted in the shadow corners of the spooky corner. It tells the tale of a group of teenagers who dare to challenge the myth, only to awaken a nightmare far worse than they ever imagined. Welcome to the Spooky Corner's rendition of the Vengeful Scarecrow, where every year the terror grows. In the small town of Hallow's End, no one dared to go out on Halloween night. A century-old legend whispered through generations spoke a scarecrow that lived in the basement of an abandoned house on the outskirts of town. The house, once a grand estate, now stood crumbling and forgotten, its windows broken, its doors hanging on rusted hinges, but it wasn't the dilapidated structure that terrified the townsfolk. It was the lurk beneath, waiting. The story went that every year on Halloween, the scarecrow awoke. Long ago, it had been created by a vengeful farmer, a dark sorcerer who had cursed the town before disappearing into the night. His creation, the scarecrow, was left to watch over the crops, but it was no ordinary figure stuffed with straw. It had a soul, a dark, twisted soul filled with rage. On Halloween night, the scarecrow would rise from its slumber, hunting anyone brave or foolish enough to roam the streets. No one knew why the scarecrow only terrorized the town on that one night. No one knew how to stop it. Over the years, parents would lock their doors, extinguishing all lights, and warn their children not to leave the house. Halloween became a night of fear, not celebration. But one year, a group of teenagers, Jack, Ellie, Marcus, and Sarah, decided to challenge the legend. They heard about the scarecrow their whole lives, and like many before them, they didn't believe it was real. They thought it was just an old tale used to keep kids from getting into trouble on Halloween. On the afternoon before Halloween, the group found their way to the abandoned house. Dust covered everywhere, and the air smelled of decay. Ellie discovered an old book in the town's library that contained the legend of the scarecrow. Inside, they found a passage that spoke of an incantation, the one that supposedly woke the scarecrow. Let's read it, Marcus said, half joking, half terrified. Despite the unease that gnawed at their nerves, they gathered in the basement of the old house. The air down there was cooler, the shadows longer. Jack lit a candle, and with shaking hands, Ellie read the words aloud. By blood and bone, from soul you rise, bound by shadows beneath cursed skies. Once stormant now, but never free, awaken, beast of straw, to claim your fee. On this hollow night of fear and dread, return from darkness, no longer dead. With eyes of fire and heart of hate, Scarecrow awaken, seal their fate. As she finished, a deafening silence fell over the group. For a moment, nothing happened. They laughed nervously, relieved that their prank had been for nothing. But then they heard it, a soft rustling, the sound of straw shifting, dragging, moving. The Scarecrow once dormant, was now awake. His eyes hollow and black as night, glowed with a sinister light. The straw that made up its body creaked and groaned as it stood, towering above them. Its tattered clothes swayed as if a breeze blew through the basement. But there was no wind. The scarecrow had been bound to the basement for centuries, but the incantation had freed it, if only for one night. The teenagers bolted, their hearts racing as they fled from the house. But it was too late. The scarecrow was out, and it would stop at nothing to exact its vengeance on the town. As night fell, the streets of Hollow's End grew quiet. The town knew what was coming. They had felt it in the air, the dread that crept over them every Halloween. 
The scarecrow roamed the town, its heavy footfalls echoing through the empty streets. It sought out anyone who dared to be out on this cursed night. One by one, those who ignored the warning disappeared. Their bodies found the next morning, cold, lifeless, and marked with strange symbols. The scarecrow never stopped. It never rested. It hunted from dusk until dawn, then returned to the basement where it would remain, waiting for the next Halloween. No one had ever found a way to stop it, and now, thanks to the foolish curiosity of a few teenagers, the scarecrow was angrier than ever. As the years went on, fewer and fewer dared to venture out on Halloween, for the scarecrow's legend had proven all too real. And every October 31st, the people of Hollow's End would hold their breath, praying they would survive another night, knowing there was no escaping the Scarecrow's curse. Thank you for joining us on this eerie journey into the legend of the vengeful Scarecrow. We hope it sends chills down your spine and left you wondering what other dark tales lurk in the shadows. There are many more spooky stories to come, and we can't wait to share them with you. So don't be a stranger. Come back soon for more bone-chilling stories and mysterious legends right here at the Spooky Corner. If you enjoyed this tale, be sure to like and subscribe to stay updated on our latest haunting creations. Until next time, stay spooky.